Hello guys, welcome to EE Mini Projects. This is the first video of this channel. To so let me clarify, E stands for Electronic Engineering Mini Project. Um, so here I'll be making different uh, mini projects and uploading on this channel. Um, so I would suggest you subscribe to this channel if you don't want to miss all these mini projects. So and this is the first project. So first project is going to be on. Uh, NRF5182 based BLE beacons. So this part is going to be a kind of uh, hardware and software combination where uh, NRF5182 uh, chip will, uh, will be acting as our uh, BLE beacon chip and mobile phone will be acting as a receiver. And uh, on software side, we'll be dealing with uh, some coding plus uh, Android application development. It's a kind of beginner kind of project. It's not that advanced. So yeah, just hang in and uh, enjoy the video, or I shall say mini projects. So let's get started. So what are beacons? Beacons are like uh, kind of uh, intentionally kept devices to attract attention towards them. So in I just kept this photo to show in old days beacons were given to ships using those lighthouses. But we are not going to do that. We'll be using. Uh, uh, Bluetooth low energy hardware which will be beaconing and uh, will uh, try to get the uh, distance from the beacon using the signal send that we are receiving from that beacon. So what all hardware and software we are going to need. So on hardware side we will be needing uh, an RF5182 chip for a breakout board. Uh, then we will need a Cortex M0 programmer with that to program that chip then motherboard uh, if uh, needed for the support i mean it depends on you then we need an android phone for that uh, android phone for uh, application android application hosting you know and yeah it should have a bluetooth low energy you know, hardware in that so that's all hardware we'll need and from software side we'll be needing till uh, ndk for uh, uh, programming the B, uh, BLE hardware and uh, beacon hardware for uh, the beacon code and we need a go studio to program them so kill will be, be developing the code and all and uh, and of go studio will be to program the hardware and studio for uh, an android studio for uh, developing the android app okay so let's go through the code and uh, I mean beacon code so uh, beacon code is i mean i am I, i'll be using the code example the sample uh, beacon code given by nordy so you i mean for uh, on your side also you can just download the uh, sdk from nordic side and in the example you will find the beacon code so let's get started and have a look at uh, the beacon code okay so what we are looking right now is uh, screen of uh, keel id so after your hardware is uh, ready you need to program your nrf5182 so let's open the beacon project you go to project open project here you just follow this path of your sdk what you have downloaded go to examples daily peripherals beacons and go to the soft device and open the project so uh, this is how our project will go there is the main file uh, and this is what is open right now so if you go to the top of uh, this file uh, there are a bunch of uh, header files declared here then there are some uh, macros declared here so let's go to the macros uh, important ones are this is non connectable advertisement interval so these are all uh, beacon frames so you can't connect uh, to a, a BLE device uh, BLE peripheral uh, through this beacon frames there are particular advertisement frames for connecting to a BLE peripherals so here we are defining the interval between two uh, connectable non connectable uh, advertisement uh, frames so that will define uh, by using this uh, macro and it can vary from 100 uh, milliseconds to 
So it can vary from 100 milliseconds to uh, 10 seconds. So that depends on the application. You can set whatever you like. The next thing is the length of the uh, information, then data length, uh, then you have uh, device type. So there are various standard uh, BLE um, applications that uh, the standard has uh, standardized. So uh, 0 to 2, I mean 2 is for the referred to as beacon frames. After that we have uh, app measured RSSI. Uh, this macro is kind of uh, name is not proper, but what what this means is if uh, your beaconing device uh, and your receiving device are at a distance of one meter, then you will be receiving uh, this much of uh, RS, uh, this much of uh, signal strength in at your receiver. So depending on this value, we can uh, depending on this value and the value of RSSI that we are re receiving at the moment, we can uh, interpret the distance between uh, the beacon and our receiver so this value is kind of uh, environmental dependent and there are many factors that play a role to um, this value uh, so the manufacturer of the breakout board or if you are making the board then you will have to do a kind of uh, experiment to um, see uh, what value is it uh, at one meter from your beacon because it depends on the antenna gain and the width of the line you are using to connect the uh, NRF to the antenna and all sort of things. Next, there is company identifier. Then there are this uh, major and uh, minor values. These values are used to like there are multiple beacons to identify various beacons. Then there is a beacon UID and all of the stuff that you can go through in this time. Uh, after this, there is not much. There is just a packet formation here. Then uh, let's jump to uh, the main then the other one is the BL stack installation I will talk about it in just a moment okay so here here is our main uh, function okay, so they are just declaring a variable then uh, initializing our timers uh, then uh, board support uh, package initialization so in board there are I mean various LEDs so you just, uh, uh, just in initialize their port and all will happen here then this is just error checking next to BL stack initialization so NRF just NRF guys provide us with uh, soft devices soft devices are uh, like pre-compiled uh, hex files for uh, Bluetooth stack that we can use so before burning our uh, application hex file we have to burn those uh, uh, soft devices into our NRF after that only we can program uh, our application so so that gets initialized here that BLE uh, stack will get initialized and next is advertising advertising initialization then we we'll start advertising so here we'll start um, beaconing our beacon app beacon frames so that's all about the code after that you just uh, build the code and you get a hex file and after that you just open your NRF Go studio and burn it into your device. So, I think that's all for this video for programming uh, NR51822. And we looked at just a bit of key. Thank you for watching video. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you don't want to miss any of the interesting mini projects, please subscribe to this channel. I'll be uploading the next uh, video shortly. Till then, have a good time. Thank you again.